Do you have a goal of buying a house, but you're like, I don't have enough money to do it? Well, I'm gonna give you the top four low or no down payment home options that you have that might just put you into a house within the next year. If you are new here, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Chris Spade at Keller Williams Realty, and I make all these videos to help you make sense of the real estate market. If you do me a huge favor, please click that subscribe button. Also, click that little bell so you can be notified every single time I drop fresh new content. And if you found value in this video, chances are someone else will too. So please hit that share button and share this video with them. Now, the cool thing when it comes to buying a house is that there are many, many options, and you don't have to go through the old school method of putting 20% down. So we're going to talk about the top four low and no down payment options that you have when it comes to buying a house. Now, if you are current active duty military or a veteran, then a VA loan is a great option for you. So the cool thing about a VA loan is one, you're not going to have any mortgage insurance. You're not going to have to put any money down with exceptions because there's always an exception. And we're going to talk about that in a second. And you don't really have to have a credit score limit, but if you have a 620 credit score, it's going to be a lot better for you in the long run. Now, remember I said that there is an exception to the VA, even though you are doing a zero down payment. Well, here's the caveat. You still have to put down what's called your earnest money deposit, which is typically 1% of the purchase price. It's between one and 3% of the overall purchase price. So you still have to put that down. So let's say you're buying a $700,000 house, then you're going to have to put a $7,000 down payment down. And you're also going to have to pay closing costs and your VA funding fee, which is typically anywhere from two to 3% of the overall purchase price. However, usually we can get some, if not all of that negotiated with the seller, which eventually, and if everything is done well, will mean that you'll be able to buy this house with virtually zero down. Let's talk about the second zero down loan program, and that is the USDA loan program. Now, I know what you're thinking. The USDA, isn't that the United States Department of Agriculture? And yes, you would be right. So the USDA has a loan program for people looking to live in rural areas of San Diego County. So there is a very specific map that you have to look at as to which areas the USDA will fund the loans in. So think Julian, that area out there and way far east San Diego County. Those are rural enough areas where you can capture this loan program. Now the caveat to this one is you still are going to have mortgage insurance on this property and there is a minimum credit score requirement and that minimum square credit score requirement is going to be a 640. Now the cool thing about this loan is out further east home prices are generally a lot less expensive which is going to be good for you because you're going to be making a smaller mortgage payment than if you were going to be buying in the city. So it's a wonderful program for anybody who's looking to live in East County. Now the number three program I want to talk to you about and I've had several clients take advantage of this. It's called the Cal HFA loan program. This is a conventional loan option with down payment assistance from Cal HFA. So it offers competitive interest rates and various assistance options. So the Cal HFA is a conventional loan program where you're going to put 3% down and then you are going to get assistance from Cal HFA and that comes in various different options. Now, even though this is a Fannie Mae program, you're going to have to put that 3% down when it comes to the down payment. Now, the big difference is that you can use gift or some other method to pay this down payment, which makes it awesome. So you can get married and instead of getting gifts, you can get money from all your friends and family who are coming to your wedding to help use that as the down payment for your house. Now, other stipulations include no limits on income and you won't have to take any buyer education courses, which typically is commonplace with many first-time buyer programs. So you're just going to want to make sure that you keep your credit clean if you want this one to work because credit is going to be a big deal with this one. Because if your credit score isn't great, then you are going to end up paying more in mortgage insurance. So let's just keep that credit score as clean as we possibly can. And if you need help getting your credit score up, I have a great resource that will help you do that to bump up the credit score to get you where you need to be with any of these loan programs. Now let's talk about the final one, which is the 
good old standard FHA loan program. This is a 3.5% down payment loan program that you will pay mortgage insurance for. Now the downside to the FHA loan program is that back in the good old days when I first got into real estate 18 years ago, you could get rid of your mortgage insurance on an FHA loan program by just being able to prove that you built up enough equity in the house. That is not the case now. You're going to have to refinance the, out of that FHA loan into a conventional program just to get rid of the mortgage insurance. But this is a wonderful way for you to get into an escrow and get into a home and take advantage of equity. Now with the FHA loan program, like I said, you're going to put 3.5% down and you are going to have to meet certain credit score requirements to get this right. Now one caveat is you'll have to pay FHA mortgage insurance, which like I said, cannot be canceled until you refinance. And the way you cancel that, like I said earlier, is you get enough equity in the property and refinance into a conventional loan program. Now typically with any of these loan programs, you're still going to need your closing cost money, which we can work to negotiate with the seller. That's typically between between two and three percent of the overall purchase price. Don't forget too that the real estate landscape has changed since the beginning of August. So once we meet for our buyer consultation, we're going to talk about those changes and what you can expect coming up. If you have any questions about these low or no money down mortgage options, feel free to reach out to me. My phone number is below. Just simply shoot me a text. That's the best way to get me and I'd be happy to talk to you and let you know about about which one of these you may qualify for. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, like, comment, and share, and I'll catch you on the next one.